with a group of mine uh, from my business management class that I'm taking, one of them, and we're actually going to the World Bank for a presentation of a project we've been working on for the last, I don't know, four to six weeks or something like that. It's about implementing a enterprise risk function. This made up company called Poverty Free, which is supposed to alleviate poverty and all that. This is all pretend, but um, it's going to be a a great experience so this is why I'm all dressed up not my favorite attire to be in yeah so this morning I had let's see maybe three-fourths of a liter of orange juice and that thing was so acidic it destroyed me <laughs> it was horrible um, so I had that and I made a couple sandwiches to have on the way I made three sandwiches I used the low sodium Ezekiel bread, which is salt free. Um, what else? I put a little bit of low sodium hummus in there and half an avocado. And I only put in half the avocado because half of it was rotten. Yeah, so that's what I have is I have like, I have three of those sandwiches. You know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I have like a, a little vegan energy bar in my pocket. Uh, today is not going to be a typical day, but whatever you know get it over with I've been taking these two business management classes over the summer now just trying to knock out you know easy six credits right here easy two courses over the summertime and that way when fall and spring come around I'm not gonna be taking that many classes in fact my fall schedule is only two days a week so that means more videos for you guys it means more downtime for me and even more homework time for me too you know Sometimes you, it can be a bit of a struggle when you're taking five classes a week, so that'll be nice. But yeah, just been knocking these courses out, and uh, that's probably why I've been a little bit slow on the videos. Don't know how much of the World Bank I can actually record. I'll try to get some clips of DC as well, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Wish me luck, guys. The presentation actually went really well. I think the managers that we presented to at the World Bank were really impressed with our stuff. 
and I can see where YouTube has helped me as a public speaker. To get good at something, you have to practice. You have to practice over and over again. And YouTube, it's so great because I don't even think of it as, as public speaking or, or practice or anything like that. I'm just talking about my views and it's so easy for me. It's so natural, but it has become a habit now and has become a skill that I've attained just by doing it over and over again. And did I mention that these were senior management? So these were high class people, high ranked people in the World Bank. It wasn't just rookies that, or interns that we had to speak to. These were legit, these were the real guys, the real deal. So um, yeah, kind of odd that I have to take business management courses as a dietitian. I mean, I know a lot of people would wonder why I'm taking them doesn't really make sense as a dietitian that I would need to take business management courses but I can see where those would come in handy and they have been pretty fun to take I mean it's mostly motivation oriented being a leader you know presentation has been a big part of it as well so I've actually benefited from these two courses I me mean, four years ago or even three years ago, whatever, my early college years and before, no way would have ever wanted to present in front of, you know, top management, senior managers of the World Bank or, or even a, a class presentation, no way. So getting out of that comfort zone and, you know, you want to be a leader? Do you want to be good at public speaking? Do you want to have an influence on your society? And those around you, you know, get out of your comfort zone. Do things you wouldn't normally do. After a while, they start to become a habit. They start to become ingrained in who you are and who you become. So, just get out of your comfort zone, man. <laughs> Have fun. You, you only live once. And so, uh, it's hot as hell out here. So, I don't know if any of you guys watch soccer, by the way, but the World Cup has been on for a while and unfortunately US lost yesterday. See this field right here, that's where Beckerman on the national team of US once played. He used to go to my school, University of Maryland, so I thought that was pretty cool just to have a little bit of history back there and Michael Jordan has actually been to one of these uh, indoor basketball stadiums as well. So Maryland has a bit of a, of a history the Under Armour guy. Oh my gosh, it's blazing in here. Who invented Under Armour went here. Um, the Muppets guy went here. Uh, who else? Just so many people have been here. Bananiac's been here. That's probably that's probably the most important one out of them all. Just gonna head home now. Uh, haven't eaten much today. Ate really well yesterday, so I'm just using the carbs that I stuffed my face with yesterday gonna go home now eat a bunch of potatoes a lot of potatoes gonna listen to some good music right now and see what I'll get into hitting up the taters and watching my girl here freely so that's how I eat my food in front of the YouTube. You stuck with it so much. What are you doing? Dang, check out this cloud formation. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just walking Simba here. Always walking my dog every day. Sometimes twice a day, sometimes three times. Every single day. If you got a dog, a cat, whatever, any pet. <laughs> Walk them every day. There's that again for you. Made some vegan tacos here. Got Whole Foods corn tortillas, which only has water, corn, and a trace of lime. Put some avocado in there, some salsa, and refried beans. So, uh, really great little snack you guys can have. Um, yeah, these things are awesome. Alright, so just got back from the walk with Simba. Let me show you what I got going on down here. 
See these little guys? Those bad boys are heirloom tomatoes. And I got another plant here, so I got that one, this one, and I got one back here. Um, let's see. Yeah, you see these? See these little, let me see. These yellow things here? That's where the tomatoes are going to come out of. So that's a sign. Um, how you can tell. Here, this one's a little bit better. Got here, got some down there, here. So, uh, can't wait till these are done. But yeah, that's that's been my day. A tiring yet fun day in D.C. at the World Bank. And, um, yeah, just taking it easy. Just relaxing, knocking these classes out. Trying to get this diet thing going on and uh, just trying to get out in the real world trying to help people trying to make them realize that the food they're eating is killing them and they should eat plants not animals it sounds simple right it sounds simple but people don't get it so I'm doing my best with these YouTube videos with my uh, college pursuits so that's what I that's what I ate today too. It, not very typical of me. Usually don't have that much fat in the day. I did have one and a half. Oh, look at that little bird. Simba hasn't seen it yet. Simba, who is it? <laughs> so um, yeah, that's. Not a typical day. I had a, an avocado and a half. Ooh, Bananiac, you're high-fat vegan. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's just one day out of the 365. And, you know, I've been doing this over two years now, the vegan thing. And I know how to contain myself. So an avocado and a half here and there is not not so bad. Um, I wish I had a little bit more fruit, ripe fruit, that is. In the beginning of the day, I had some orange juice and I was so acidic and just didn't taste right as you would have a ripe orange and freshly squeeze it not the same so yeah I had some of that but the potatoes when I came back saved me this what three pounds of potatoes that I had oh you can't beat potatoes and bananas bananas are good too and then those vegan tacos so check this out right <laughs> without even saying that I'm vegan to anyone here's what I had I woke up had a glass of OJ had a couple sandwiches and then had a an energy bar then I came home had some french fries and some tacos you know <laughs> big whoop everyone eats that way except I took all the unhealthy animal products out and of course the oils replaced it with healthy plant foods mostly whole plant foods bam that's ah. It just stung me. Foods. Bam. Ah, so, something just bit me. But just replaced it with mostly whole plant foods. So that, that's how you do it. Just simple changes like that can make a world of difference. So give this video a like if you like these day in the lifes. If you guys want to see more of what I eat in the day or more recipe videos, more cycling videos, running vegan nutrition, whatever. Let me know. Post them in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you guys soon.